Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace the drive control cable on your Troy built lawn mower, you will need a 3 8 inch socket, a Phillips head screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver, and needle nose pliers. Before you begin the procedure, make sure the engine has cooled. We also recommend there be little or no fuel in the tank. For safety, detach the ignition coil wire from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. Now tip the lawn mower back and use a weight to hold the handle assembly down. Use the 3 8 inch socket to unthread the seven lower screws, securing the front transmission cover. Next, unthread the two upper screws securing the cover. Pull the wheel adjustment lever outward so you can fully detach the cover. Use the needle nose pliers to depress the tabs to release the drive control cable from the transmission. Detach the end of the cable from the support. Now remove the weight and return the lawnmower to its upright position. Use the Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the lower drive control handle housing screw. Insert the small flathead screwdriver into the hole in the housing and depress the tab to release the cable access cover. You can now detach the end of the cable from the drive control handle. If necessary, cut any zip tie retainers and remove the old component. You're now ready to install the new drive control cable. Attach the upper end of the cable to the drive control handle. Align the adjuster and snap the access cover closed. Replace the screw. Tip the mower back and hold the handle down with the weight. Attach the opposite end of the new cable to the support and snap the cable into place on the transmission. Hold the axle assembly in place as you insert the transmission cover tab under the belt slot in the deck. Make sure the drive cable is positioned in the notch in the cover. Pull the wheel adjustment lever outward to properly align the front of the cover. Replace the nine screws to secure the cover, starting with the lower middle screw. Remove the weight and return the lawnmower to its upright position. Secure the cable with zip tie retainers as required. 
Reattach the ignition coil wire to the spark plug. Refill the fuel tank if necessary, and your lawnmower should be ready for use.